Most of my life, I always understood that spring began on March 21st, but today is March 20th, and of late, I've heard that March 20th is the first day of spring, so I want the answer. I went to Answers.com, and I said, when does spring start? And officially, according to Answers.com, spring began three and a half hours ago, from actually the time that I'm talking right now. So welcome back, spring, and welcome you to Rob's Feet Today. This is episode number 109, and I'm Rob Schendel. Maybe you're a college student living in a dorm. Maybe you just live in a small studio apartment. What you need to do is get over to dormco.com slash Rob. Once you're there, you'll find all kinds of items specifically designed for folks living in small spaces. That's dormco.com slash Rob. I just heard the weather report for Chicago here, and Apparently tomorrow it's going to be in the 60s. What a wonderful, what a, to anticipate that is great. But that's the whole idea of spring, anticipation. Looking forward to the summer. Easter's coming up soon. Oh, and speaking of Easter, I just walked to the grocery store. I really love my neighborhood. It's so convenient. You don't need a car where I live. I got to the bank. I was at the grocery store. If I wanted, I could have gone to McDonald's. And there's a subway and Target's not too far, if you want to go to Target. It's just so convenient. And it's, it's, as I said, it's walking distance. The only reason you'd want to take a car or the bus is when you're carrying all this stuff back. But I went to the grocery store and they have, oh, I, they have them. They've got peeps. They've got peeps in blue, yellow, and pink. I was kind of confused, though, because according to the sign underneath the product, <laughs> the, the blue and the yellow peeps were four for five dollars, but the pink peeps were ten for ten dollars. That means they were a quarter piece less. Well, it turns out that the placement was just kind of awkward. There was some chocolate thing above the pink peeps. So the pink peeps cost no more or less than the yellow and the blue peeps. And of course I bought blue because, well, I'm a boy. Over the years I've attended a great number of meetings for one reason or another. And that one meeting several years ago now, the topic of peeps came up. It was uh, not an agenda item, but it turned out that most of the people at that meeting enjoyed their peeps most after they had aged, after they were stale, really. And I have to confess, I, I was one of them. And at the, as the meeting concluded and the leaders wished to bid us adieu, she said something to the effect that now we can go off and enjoy our peeps. And I said, no, they're not ripe yet. And at the biggest laugh I think I've had ever. We're saddened that the situation, international situation in Libya, I don't really have an opinion yet on whether we should be involved or not, but I tend to side with the idea that force is necessary when atrocities are being committed, but that's really a preliminary opinion on this whole matter. Uh, it's comforting to realize that we are not alone in this, that there are allies with, with our nation. But I don't know. The other thing we are saddened about, and this is kind of interesting in a sad way, from the theater world in London, 12 year old Charlotte Leather Barrow was a dancer with the Billy Elliot company there. And she was killed this week when she st stepped out in the street and was struck by a, one of those double decker buses. So it's really sad. And the, I guess the whole company is, is very saddened by this. And, and there's a number of tributes of, to the young, the young lady, young woman, at uh, broadwayworld.com. But that just kind of struck me, because she was living her dream of being a dancer, professional dancer, and, and she was literally struck down. And it's so sad. 
Over the years on this podcast, I've discussed with you many item, many different topics that pertain to gay people. Marriage equality, bullying, the E Gets Better Project, the Trevor Foundation. And it's one thing, as long as we've just mentioned the death of a, a young person that I've had on the, on the burner to discuss with you for a while. And that was a Lifetime movie, a television movie, which I hear is about to be released again. But it recently came out on DVD. It actually, now it was in December because I gave, it, gave copies of this movie to people as Christmas gifts. Prayers for Bobby. I think there's something wrong with me. You think too much. It's dangerous. Bobby, you're scaring me. What's going on? He might be homosexual. He's not. I know if we trust in God, we can get through this. It's curable with his help. We still love you, Bobby. Yeah, thanks. When I told you not to do that thing, your arm makes you look like a girl. Accept me as I am, or forget it. I won't have a gay son. Then, Mom, you don't have a son. Uh, Bobby killed himself. He's gone. Help me! My son is dead! Let me out! Bobby was a good young man, but he was lost. We all make mistakes, but it's done. He's gone. We're not gonna bring him back! I need to make peace with this, and I can't. What do you tell people who come here? That homosexuality is okay? I tell them what I believe to be the truth. God loves them as they are. Oh, thank God, forgive me. Bobby's death was the direct result of his parents' ignorance. My eyes get wet just watching the trailer. You can get the film for yourself at Amazon.com. It's also available through do for download through iTunes. And I highly recommend it. More as much as I've ever recommended anything to you. It will make you cry. I remember when that first aired, as I said, on Lifetime TV. At, uh, I had seen previews of it just like I showed you now and so I was able to sight unseen recommend it to friends and relatives at the time and uh, I remember after having viewed it one of my brothers wrote wrote to me and said thank you for the recommendation we it really moved us we uh, sure hope that life was easier for you when you were his Bobby's age I, I, I don't know if it was or not. I guess it what must have been. But uh, again, uh, a wonderful way to spend an evening is to watch that movie. You can help the podcast out if you would be kind enough to go into iTunes and click subscribe. And then when you, after you subscribe, please rate and comment on it. And also tell your friends. I'd really appreciate it. You go to robsfreetoday.com, in the right column somewhere, there's a PayPal donation if you want to help us out with the donation. That would be great, gratefully appreciated. And I think at that note, I'm going to watch a movie and eat some peeps. And so that's all I'm going to say. <laughs>